There are some people in this world that have been hurt. Maybe they are still being hurt. Maybe they were abandoned by their parents. Maybe their parents did not show them love. Maybe the parents did show them love, but it was inconsistent. You know, one day the parents would show love and maybe the next two or three days, the parents did not show them love, as in neglected them and stuff like that. Some people have been violated. Some people have gone through very hard times. Because of this, or these things or more, some people may have an attitude as, I don't care about others. Or they may have an attitude as, they may have an attitude as, the world owes them. So since they have been hurt or still are being hurt, some of them may have a mind frame as no one can tell me when I am doing wrong. No one can tell me when I am hurting them. No one can correct me. They may adopt an attitude like that. But on the other hand, they may feel like they can correct others. They may feel like they can be mean to others and do whatever they like because they may have an attitude like, hey, I don't care about others. Uh, or they may have an attitude as everyone owes me. So since everyone owes me, I can do whatever I want and no one can say anything about it. Are you hearing what I am saying to you? That type of attitude is very dangerous. Yes, you may have been hurt in the past. People have done you wrong. Yes, your parents probably didn't love you. Your parents neglected you. Your parents hated you. Yes, your parents showed more love to your brother or your younger sister. Yes, you have gone through emotional pain. But at the same time, you can't continue on holding hatred. You have to forgive those that have done you wrong. Just because you have been wronged so much in the past, it doesn't mean you have a free ticket to behave any way you want to now. Just because your heart is hurting, it doesn't mean you should cause chaos. It doesn't mean you should purposely go out and hurt people. Yes, what those people did to you in the past is wrong. Yes, you suffered greatly. But at the same time, you have to move on. I know it is easier to say than to do, but you have to move on. You have to forgive. I'm not saying you have to go over that person's house and give them some tea and some biscuits. I'm not saying you have to wrap your arm around them. But forgive them for what they have done. Forgive them for neglecting you. Forgive them for not loving you properly. Forgive them for doing things to you that a child should have not experienced, if you know what I mean. The Bible tells us to love our enemies. You may believe that 
by forgiving your enemies, you are doing them a favor. Actually, you are doing yourself a great favor by forgiving your enemies. How will God forgive you if you choose to not forgive people who, who have done wrong to you? How will you get to heaven if you choose to not forgive? Imagine this. When you were younger, or maybe still now, you went through so much pain. You went through so much suffering. Imagine having to go through what you went through, then going to hell afterward. Going somewhere where you will suffer more than what happened to you in the past. Imagine having to suffer more. You may say, on this earth, it is impossible for you to suffer more than what you already have. Already have. You are mistaken. Or maybe I should say you are deceived. Hell is so much greater than any type of suffering anyone hath endured on earth, on earth. Give your burdens to God. Stop holding so much hate in your heart. Forgive and move on. Don't have hate for everyone, for people who haven't done any wrong to you because of what you've gone through in your past or now. Forgive, <clears throat> forgive and move on. May God bless us.